Warning, concentrated sulfuric acid is highly corrosive, toxic and damaging to the environment. When handling, wear protective clothing at all times. Hello and in today's video I will show you how to synthesize aspirin using salicylic acid and acetic acid. The reaction I'm using is an esterification reaction. Usually you would react the salicylic acid with acetic anhydride for a reaction giving a high yield. Due to the fact that I couldn't get my hands on any acetic anhydride I settled for using acetic acid. In this reaction I'll be using sulfuric acid as a catalyst. I always like to have a base on hand to neutralize any acid spills. I'm using sodium bicarbonate. For this experiment you will need two glass beakers, a glass pipette, a balance, filter paper, salicylic acid, acetic acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, distilled water, filter paper and a funnel or you could use a Buckner funnel, an ice bath and a hot water bath. First, weigh out your salicylic acid and add it to an Erlenmeyer flask. I'm using approximately 2 grams. Then add excess acetic acid and a few drops of sulfuric acid which will act as a catalyst for the esterification reaction. Then you want to prepare your hot water bath. You want the water to be at a temperature between 70 and 50 degrees Celsius. Then add the flask to the hot water bath and leave it for about 10 minutes for the reaction to take place. After 10 minutes, remove the flask from the hot water bath and add to it around 20ml of distilled water to induce crystallisation. Then, put the flask into an ice bath and leave it for 10 minutes. When all of the aspirin has crystallised out of the solution, set up your filtration apparatus and filter the aspirin precipitate from the mixture. Leave the aspirin to dry. From 2 grams of salicylic acid I achieved a yield of about 0.6 grams of aspirin. And that's how you make aspirin.